So natural gas is on fire. Well, not actually on fire. It's just made a move higher that has put it at 14 year highs. So what's next for natural gas, right? This is really important, especially as we change seasons and we see cooler weather because of the energy uh, situation going on around the world between oil, natural gas, and more. So let's take a look at the charts. And before we do, important reminder that trading and investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in my video. All right, guys, so here we have the continuous contract of natural gas futures. Now I go deep into the UNG ETF for my quarterly review of 20 of the hottest markets in my outlook annual, but we're going to look at the actual future chart here today. And we're going to be on this one chart and going from monthly down to weekly down to daily. So you can see here that the monthly chart of natural gas futures shows it rising. And this is a continuous contract chart. So if you're new to futures, what this means is that the chart is going to change every time the contract month changes. And so the numbers will shift around a little, but the direction is going to be the same. You can see that we're lifting off the RSI power zones, bull support power zone, my favorite momentum indicator. And we have come up to multi-year highs here. And from here, I'd like to take a look at it on the weekly chart for more detail. All right, the weekly chart shows that we've had a very sharp run up. You can see after a prior sharp advance and most recently tested our high from June and are now sort of hanging out there. The RSI power zones lifted out of the bull support zone on the weekly, both here in July and then back in the uh, late 2021 period. So that on top of doing it in early 2021, guys, you can see in the weekly chart of natural gas futures, if it's coming to the bull support power zone and starts to turn higher, that's fueling the price action to the upside. Okay, now coming in more closely to the last run up correction and then our current run up, you can see that in this current run up, we have a swing low that formed here back at the week ending July 8th. And then we have a price low that formed here in the week ending August 12th, just last week. Now this also formed a specific type of candlestick and I get into the significance of many different types of candlesticks in my GAN candlestick system. I talk about my nano twist to calculating support and resistance levels within candles, as well as looking at the nano twist, a different nano twist on candles when they have different sizes and what that means, right? So I'm going to pause the screen here for a moment and do a quick calculation for a nano level on this candle. Okay. I was not on that long. And now I have taken two nano levels off of the recent candlesticks and they give me two support levels to watch out for. So if we start to see the natural gas futures come off of their recent multi-year highs even more, okay, if they start to trade lower, watch out for 8.26 and 7.89 as areas of support. Okay, now let's take this to the daily chart. So I'm just going to change this exact chart to the daily, keep my annotations, keep my RSI power zones. And now let's still analyze that most recent large advance, the correction lower, and now the current advance. Okay, so what we're seeing with the current advance is that we had an attempt at the high from June 8th here on July 26th, backed off and are now pushing higher. So there's quite a barrier of resistance that's coming in around 9.60. You can see we've tested it twice here, but big picture, look at where the RSI power zones have held on the daily chart. Yes, again, it's the bull support power zone. Guys, this is why I say that the RSI power zones work on a variety of markets and timeframes, because even when you're studying one market like we are here, you can look at the RSI power zones and take it through from daily, weekly, monthly, and see repeat patterns like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna round things out by giving you a forecast. So just hold on one second here and I'll be back with forecast. Okay, so I'm back with my forecast and you can see these yellow vertical lines represent August 25th to August 29th. And that's a window of time that there's room for natural gas to continue to rally into. All right, so here we're sitting on August 17th, guys. This means that there's still room to run to the upside. The new 14 year highs that have been posted may not be it. But remember, the weekly chart showed us that 8.26 and 7.89 might provide support if there is a move lower. And on top of that, I'm going to add two more levels on the daily chart here, one at 8.40 and then another here at 7.53. Okay. So this gives you kind of a full roadmap, if you will, right? Heading higher, 
into this forecast window and I use my loss forecasting methods to come up with this forecast. So a forecast has not only time aspect like you see here, but it has a price aspect as well, a precise price target. So if you know your loss forecasting methods, then you can emulate what I just created here. And for the downside, if we have weakness ahead, then you can see four different support levels here where buyers might come in and scoop up and fuel natural gas back to the upside. Okay. So very interesting time in the energy complex. Like I said, back in uh, oil, I believe I commented on last week, natural gas here today, and I'm going to stay on top of these hot markets for you so that we can make sure we are aware of what opportunities may lie ahead. So remember to subscribe, like comment down below, follow and join my tribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the inside. You can sign up with the link to join my tribe and get my hot, timely, actionable updates as soon as I publish right to your inbox.